but not black. Do not buy black forces. <laughs> Don't do it, Snug. These are, because the plastic is barely touched. I know what these are. I know what these are. These some Air Maxes, bro. All right, what up, though? Back at it again with another video. Probably wondering why I'm whispering. I'm in the doctor's office right now, so just trying to get this done right quick. But um, as you can tell from the title, part two of the shoe collection, finally got it done. Uh, sorry for the delay between studying for finals and going to work and everything. It's been real time consuming, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got that much free time, so hope you enjoyed the video. We're just going to jump back right into it. so shocked is because I didn't think these were the Air Maxes that I was going to be opening. So yeah, obviously in the other stand. But yeah, these are all white. Brand new. Brand, brand new. Brand never touched the concrete. Never been on my feet. Sock never in them. Brand new. Got these for Christmas a few months ago. Christmas that just passed. Let me y'all know you show these they look like i said they look just they look almost identical to these the only difference is let me hold this different so really the only difference is it doesn't say air max on the side if it don't say air max on the side take it out the box part of the video this is not what's supposed to be happening. But I'm gonna do this right quick just for comparison. So from the front, can't even tell. But you <laughs> can't tell the laces on. But from the front, the shoes look pretty much identical, same. Obviously like oval shaped right here. Same stitching style, same uh, upper, I said upper, same like kind of midsole pattern. Obviously this part, it's a little different because like it's stopped right here, but this is all velvet and it keep going. Um, this is a little different. Obviously the swoosh isn't cut off. See, because obviously if they had that, it would have been like right there. So that's what this is. That, that would have been right there. The Air Max symbol would have been right there instead of being on the back. This one has Nike on the back, Nike Air on the back. Obviously, they are maxes, so they kind of have the same air bubble, but the the little chamber. I'm going to just start making up my own words for these shoes. But um, the little chamber around the air bubble is different than this chamber around the air bubble. And obviously, it don't have these uh, these pore ride, these pores in the heel. So, yeah, that's the difference between Air Max 90s and these Air Max BWOGs. Yeah, yeah. I'm upset. I killed a spider on the shoebox of my favorite Air Maxes that I own. These are Air Maxes that I thought were in that box that I just opened. Inshallah. No, these are not them either. <laughs> okay, so obviously, I'm going to get to them eventually. Let me stop being so angry. Getting excited. But another pair of Air Maxes. Uh, like I said, from my mom, friend, these. I don't know. These funny looking to me a little bit. The shoe, I don't know. Maybe because like how the shoe is like the silhouette of the shoe is. But it's just a little funny to me. It's like a funny. It make, I feel like it would make my foot look funny. And if, I feel like if I was to wear this, this would probably be more strictly of like literally like it's hot outside and I'm going to be doing some walking or I'm about to go to the gym. That's what I feel like I would wear this shoe for. To like, just something to be comfortable on my foot, not really to be styling and profile. But I don't know. The color is nice. I like the color. It's wolf cool gray. What, this, what did it say? What color is this? Wolf gray and cool gray white. Nike Air Max 1s Ultra. I don't, what is S E? All these extra letters on shoes. Now nah, I don't even know what some of the stuff you mean. 
I just go in the store and if I like it, you know, I just end up liking it. <laughs> but yeah. Nice shoe. I haven't worn these either yet. Um, like I said, I don't I don't really wear none of my when it's snow on the ground, I don't wear none of my shoes really like. I've been wearing strictly just my wheats. And they're not even like no crispy wheats. They're they're not even wheat somewhere. They went from wheats to toast. That's what they are now. I'm, I walk around with to with Timberland toasts on my feet. <laughs> yeah, you know I got the Nike SBs. If you don't know, SB stands for skateboard. With a nice Tiffany blue box. These shoes are actually nice. I wore these once. I wore them in school. It's I'm pretty sure he took the sole out for some reason. But, I mean, it's whatever. It's still comfortable. Still a comfortable shoe. Nice. Basically go with anything. I like the color. Black with the gum. I like that. Nice and simple. Nice little skateboard canvas shoe. You know what I'm saying? I for sure would, I would, I would for sure wear this a little more often than I did. I only wore it once, really, just to, like, get a feel for it on my foot to see if I liked it for real. But you know, that's a nice shoe. I for sure um, throw that in my rotation this summer. What are these? Okay, these are the Air Maxes. I'm not opening that. That's, that's like miscellaneous junk. But um, these. Ooh, what's that? That's a, that's a shoelace right there. It's a blue shoelace. I just realized I have a lot of Air Maxes. You know, they're different type of Air Maxes. I said Air Max a lot in this video. This video for sure gonna be like 30 minutes, bro. Especially if I don't edit it. Yeah. Got these. Why does this shoe look smashed too? I gotta do something about this. Like, for real, bro. I'm a man. I keep working on my camera. Um closeness because I be forgetting that the camera makes stuff seem closer than really what it is. But I'm mad for one that this shoe looks like that. Like that really do I have any tissue on this shoe? That's why it's feeling like that. It ain't no tissue on here. And I don't see that's the one thing. I like to try to keep the tissue in the shoes that like I wanna make sure that lasts and everything like that. Cause obviously I want my shoe to look nice. I don't want it to be all discombobulated and looking messed up and stuff like that. That's, that's better. So yeah, we got the, um, we got the Air Max Plus in navy blue and gray. I got these, man, I just These, I'm remembering now why they're dirty. These, I got the 2017. Yeah, like August-ish, like around August, September of 2017. And the first time I wore them was like Sweetest Day. I had, me and my girlfriend went off for Sweetest Day. That was the first time I wore them. And then I had worn them like one more time. And then the last time I wore these shoes was when I went to the Dominican Republic. And I really wish I didn't wear them the day I wore them because I wore them to like, we went on like some adventure, like a multi adventure type thing. Like you go to one, like you go to one place, for like five attractions or something like that. One of the attractions was dune bugging through mud and everything, like literally through mud. And I had these on, and I didn't know that's what we were going to be doing. I wanted a shoe that was comfortable enough that I could, like, move around in. I thought we were just going to be doing some walking. So I thought that was going to be cool compared to the shoes that I brought with me that, on that trip. I thought this would be an okay shoe to wear. I was wrong. So what I did was I had got, <laughs> I had went to the counter and asked for, like, four grocery bags and wrap two bags around each shoe to keep the mud and everything from like messing them up. It, I mean, it don't look like they're that, that bad, but they were soaked. I mean,
Playboy. These boys felt like galoshes. I don't know what galoshes is, but it just sounds like a wet shoe. But yeah, this shoe was soaked in mud. It was like it's not even necessarily mud. It was just like muddy water. That's all it really was. It was just muddy water. So yeah, I got a um this summer. I'm gonna probably like touch these up a little bit because I really like these. They're not that bad. It's that dirt spot right there. So you know, I gotta just like do some little spot cleaning with these. But I for sure I wanna get some more of these. I wanted the 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 Air Max Pluses. Man, this phone don't focus on its own. The Air Max Pluses that had came out in the frequency package, the black and yellow ones, I wanted to grab them. Them was cold. And there was a few other colorways. I like this shoe. This is probably even though this is my first time ever having this specific Air Max, I like how it looks. It, I like it. It's a cold shoe. It's a nice shoe. Nice throwback shoe from the 90s or whatever. You know what I'm saying? On to this one. I believe this. Okay, these are my Harajis. So, yeah. Guy gave me four shoes. These. These Playboys. These Playboys need some love, for real, for real. These, for sure, these became, these, when I got these, these have became my go-to white shoes because I refused to wear my Air Force Ones consistently. I don't know. To me, Air Force Ones are on a higher shelf than these. I mean, they're just, they look better. But these, for sure, these need some love. I know that, so if you're going to say something about them, I don't really care. I know they need love. They need super duper love. Some super TLC. But yeah, I got these, like I said, the same day I got those fly knit um, Air Force ones I showed you and those chiffon yellow Harachis. Let me get those Harachis because I just, I told you I was going to compare something. Like I said, I was going to compare something with these. What I don't like about this Harachi compared to this one is. For one, how thin this is. I don't like that. I mean, yeah, I know that like, this is cloth and it's not really that much of a difference, but this is just like way, way thinner. Like this has no structure to it. Like, look at that. It's just, it's collapsing. Like that's how, like it's just, it's collapsing because it's no real stiffness to it. It's no support. Like your shoe, your foot is literally the support of the whole shoe. And that's why I feel like this, I thought that was dirt. This is like a little dust bunny. But, um, well, yeah, your foot is literally like the support. See, these are dirty too. Maybe, maybe the soles of these shoes just get dirty. I know these was getting, these was getting, oh my God, I need to get you some love. I had jean, blue denim, uh, rubbing off on them. And like I said, when I was wearing blue jeans with them, uh, they just need to be taken care of. I need to, to be, they just need to be taken care of, period. And then I don't like these shoestrings. I don't like the new shoestrings they putting on the Harajis. I would rather them just leave the flat laces in there and keep it going. I like how I look, but then again, I guess if this is supposed to be a running shoe, maybe it coincides with that. So yeah, that's that was my little input on them right quick. Um, what I like between the regular Harachi and then the uh, Harachi Air. Finally, for the fast part, going through the shoes, they don't have buttons. So we're gonna start over here. These are my Air Max 95 plus BBs. Yes. I needed to say all of that because apparently if you just type in Air Max 95s, you'll get a different pair of shoes that that look similar to this, but they aren't these. They are they're like the ones that the, the Air Maxes that came out the year before. You literally have to put 95 plus 95 the plus symbol and then the letters BB. I don't know what BB stands for, so I just if anybody asks, I say basketball. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I got these. Um, where did I get these? I got these in high school for sure. I'm gonna say like, I'm gonna say I got these eleventh grade. I got these in eleventh grade with a uh, 
and I got a black and blue. Literally, like, it matched exactly like this. It matched these, the laces and the shoe exactly. It was a black and blue Detroit Tigers uh, snapback. I know the Tigers is not blue, but hey, the hat came like that, so I got it. These are actually, they're shoes, but they're not regular shoes. These are actually football cleats I had from when I was on the football team in ninth grade. I know they're not shoes, and I know I can't wear them out, but they were in the closet, so I said I might as well just grab them. I can probably still fit. These are obviously red and white with white splatters on them. Nike Air Force One. Air Force One. These are high tops. These are high tops. This this is what the high top Air Force Ones look like. If they don't have the strap on the back like this, they're not hot. They're not high tops. If they have the strap like that, they're mid tops. So there's low top strap in the front, mid top strap on the back, high top. I got these in 2016 yes i got these in 2016 uh ju july actually yep fourth of july weekend right yeah like right back home, um back home for for fourth of july weekend i went and picked these up from the store these and these i got those uh the same day like i said red with the white bottoms with the red splatters i mean the white splatters and the red i wore these i wore these i wore these nice amount of times i wore them to a um a 90s party with some uh some red wings the hockey team with some red wings uh pajamas so it was pretty dope next we got some more high tops i actually took these need some love for real like these boys i was wearing i was Man, when, like I said, <laughs> they are on the verge of almost being an everyday shoe. Or maybe not an everyday shoe, but like, oh, let me just throw these on right quick. You know, they go with everything. Wow, I did not know this was chipping. Wow. I need somebody to look into this. Wow, I did not know that that was chipping like that. Man, they got the uh, reflective snake skin hologram on them too. I got it down here on the uh, on the little thing too, on the little tag, and on the tongue. I just realized these don't have that. These don't have the Air Force One uh, shoelace thing. I just realized that. These are, you, you can look at them. They busted. These busted and them busted. I don't wear neither one of them. These were literally, these are literally became like, I'm about to run to the gas station right quick to get some gas or some juice or something. That's what these became. And those, those were like yard work shoes. But then obviously I had to bring them with me. I might throw these away. I don't know why I might donate them, cause I don't want them. They literally are. They literally just have been sitting in my closet, taking up space, and I'm not going to wear them. So I'm gonna probably just end up donate, don't, don't donating. I'm gonna end up donating these eventually. This is why you need at least to buy one pair a year, cause they will get messed up so easy, and you'll never get them as white as they were. Black on black Chuck Taylors. Everybody, I ain't gonna say everybody. Most people have had at least one pair of Chucks in their life. I actually have another pair that I forgot to bring out here. But they're low top navy blue. They're actually pretty faded because those are old too. These, where did I get these? I don't even, see, I don't even know. I don't even remember when I got these. I had to at least get these. I had to get these in like ninth grade. Um, got the other ones before high school, and I had and I had an original pair, like the regular black and white Chuck Taylors. I had some of them, but I had some of them like middle school. Them is long gone, like 
なんかなんか<笑> Now these these right here I had these on earlier today that's why they wet but these for sure are probably the most versatile shoes I have in my little collection that I have today because I work in these I wear these to work I wear them to school <laughs> And I will play basketball in them. <laughs> These are some Nike Air Griffey tools, I think, or just Air Griffies. I don't know. They're Griffies for sure. Uh, the colorway is Safari. And I didn't know that until like one day I looked them up. And this, uh, this if I can get it to do it, is actually like three. I think it's called 3M. And it like do all that reflective stuff. When like the light hit it. You got it. It's 3M right here on the swoosh. And all the gray that you see is 3M. 3M reflective. Man, I wish I could get it to do it. I don't know. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna take a picture of them in there and show you. I'm gonna drop it in the I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it in the video. These are these are probably like the most versatile. These, these, you can tell they're filthy. That's how versatile they are. I wear them literally almost every day. Cause like I said, I walk to school in them. I walk. Yeah, I, I wear these shoes literally every day. If I'm not wearing them toast them toasties, I'm probably wearing these. And the only reason why I'm probably wearing these is because I'm tired of wearing the toasties or it's a lot of snow on the ground. My everything grippies. Next, got some Rockport dress shoes. My Rockports, I got the alligator. You know what I'm saying? It's, that's that real player player. <laughs> yeah, got these Rockports. I've had these, I've had these for a long time too. I've had these for sure since like eighth grade. Since like, yeah, since like eighth. Middle school for sure. I'm gonna say middle school for sure, but I'm gonna go eighth grade at the at the oldest. These are um hey, I gotta face this way. It's a nice shoe. Nice little rock port dress shoe. Go good with some brown. If you know what you're doing, these are actually actually look fire off a of brown fit. I know cause I did it. <laughs> I'm irritating though. Next, got a nice little regular, another rock port. I, these were actually a shoe I needed for like eighth grade. I wore these for like eighth grade promotion. I ain't gonna say graduation because people don't like when you say eighth grade graduation. I'm gonna say what I want eighth grade graduation promotion. I had got these and I wore these. And I wore them a few times after that. Obviously, you can tell from the sole, but not nothing too heavy. Because obviously, I was young, and dress shoes is not really what most kids is about. Most kids is about gym shoes. So that's why these, these are still in nice condition. We got the damn Daniels back out again with our white vines. <laughs> I actually got these before that before that came out. Um, yeah, I got that before it came out. I got these the first year, my first, for, I got these for the first day of senior year because we, all the seniors was supposed to wear all white. I don't know what made me get Vans. I don't know why I decided this would be the shoe for me to wear on the first day of school. I hated them. I hated wearing these shoes so much. And that was like the only day I wore these shoes was the first day of school. Because for one, if you don't have Van socks, your socks are gonna show. And it just looks stupid. It just looks ridiculous. Then it just, I don't know. That day, that time, it wasn't me. I just got them 
because I didn't have any vans, and I thought it would be a nice shoe to try out, and I was mistaken. I might try it again this summer. Well, I don't know. As of right now, it's not looking too hot for these. I, I, they're not, they're not on my. I don't like them. I ain't gonna say I don't like them, but they're, they're not getting worn anytime soon. I'm gonna just say that. These. Oof. That's not. Oh my god, that's a lot of dirt. Oh my god, these are filthy. These are obviously white on white Hirachis. Got these in 2016 as well. I actually got three pairs of Hirachis, but took the gray ones back because I didn't like how the gray ones look. So I have these, and then I have a pair that are red with a white swoosh. They're like gym red. Yeah, so I have these white on white ones, and I have some uh some gym red ones with a white swoosh. They're pretty nice. These are filthy like that because my dumb self wore them to the beach uh and yeah i wore them to the beach obviously white shoes and sand white shoes and cloth white cloth shoes with with holes in them and sand don't go obviously for these particular reasons or these are the mid tops i just said bust those these to bust down Used to bust down bus stops. <laughs> yeah, they're they they toast they toast they buns they're buns. Some samos right here. I got these ninth grade with the matching tracksuit. I wish I would have got these in shell toes or at least like a lighter blue. This is a nice color. Actually, I ain't even gonna lie. I like these ones. I wish I would got the tracksuit in a different color. Maybe. I don't know. It's cool. But, um, majority of shoes I got, I got most of them in high school, and then it slowed down. Yeah, these blue with the white, some hoes, not too bad. You know, obviously, they got, like I said, they got some wear. I wore them, but I didn't wear them out. You know what I'm saying? And then next, got the black some hoes. I wore these a little bit more, obviously, because black goes with more. And I feel like these are like so creased up because I remember walking to the movies in these. So that's probably why they creased up like that pretty bad. Cause the blue ones aren't, the blue ones aren't that bad. But, um, next, we got the white with the blue shell toes. These are the ones that I got to go with the, um, the tracksuit. And these are, Actually, these are pretty comfortable. I hadn't wore these in like a really long time. And then one day in 2016, I was just like, hey, let me throw these on. Um, there's some walking them. They're pretty comfortable. Didn't tie them up. And I was like, wow, I'm going to throw these back in rotation. And I did. And I've, I ain't going to say I've been wearing them ever since. But I do make sure I get some wear out of them every once in a while. These are special occasion shoes. And what I mean by special occasion is I only got them because I went to a wedding in the Dominican Republic and I needed some shoes that were like, I just needed some shoes, some white shoes. So this is what I got. These are Stacy Adams, some low flows. They are, they okay. They look, they, to me, they look like old people's shoes for sure. I mean, they are right. These are my Jordan 3's black flips. I, last time I wore these were 2017. And the reason being is because my dumb self wore these to a haunted trail. Like a, yeah, like a haunted trail, basically. You go on the trail and you go a haunted maze. You go you outside and you run in and you walking in the woods and everything. And I'm just I'm walking through it with my Jordans on. I don't know why I thought that was okay. I just this this one got it bad for sure. Ooh, 
Ooh, that boy got it bad. <laughs> These are obviously some forces. I got these for eight for my birthday in eighth grade. I believe I turned 13. And I got these, my aunt got these for my birthday. And it's mad at that scuff right there like that. But yeah, got these. Focus, it's so irritating this phone, focus. Got these. I this video probably looks so true. Let me try and hurry up and finish this video because my phone died on that last shoe. It's Red Tim's uh, Halloween 2016. I was the Joker from Suicide Squad. Obviously, clowns wear red shoes, wear big red shoes, so I got big red boots. Um, so yeah, that's why I got those. Obviously, the Weeds literally might it, these were literally my all winter shoes. Like as soon as the snow touched down, I'm putting these on and I wear them literally almost every day through the winter. I walk to school in them, I go to school in them, I go to work in them, I go to my night job in them. These are literally like my work. These designated work shoes, designated. I'm about to be mobbing and all that stuff. So yeah, if I'm doing any type of walking in the winter time, them for sure is going on my feet. All you need to know, just know it's gonna be these, some sweats, a hoodie, and that black on black North Face. That's my I'm I'm out the door. I just need to get up and go. That's my go-to. Just like my go-to shoes. And lastly, the green Tim's I was telling you about that I got for St. Patrick's Day uh, last year. That my girlfriend got that matches mine. Came with the it was crispy too because it came with the orange laces and I was a leprechaun for uh for I was about to say Halloween for St. Patrick's Day. I had the green I said the green the orange beard and everything. So yeah, the shoes ended up matching the uh, the shirt I had on and the undershirt I had on and then the laces ended up matching my beard. I forgot. I'll show y'all right quick. Kohans. Got these. Got these when I think I was like 16, like around 16. I remember wearing them to a, um, a wedding and I had to drive, which is why I said 16. So I was obviously in high school. And not much wear on them. I wore them, probably, that was probably like the one time I wore them. I might have worn them like two more, one, one more time for like some type of dress up occasion. But other than that, these shoes really haven't gotten anywhere. And like here. All right. And last but not least, my favorite shoes that I have. Six alternate 91s. Let me put this foot thing in here. Yeah, so this is the color that I'm, so as you can see, they look like those ones, the one hairs that I showed you earlier in the video. Wow, where does scuff mark come from? Huh, this one. <laughs> so irritated. But yeah, this is, so where does, I don't even know where this go, because both of these got tissue in them. So I don't, obviously this is supposed to go in one of these shoes. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna just keep it. I'm gonna just keep it. Put this one here with the other tissue. Wait. Oh, yeah, it's just paper. It'll, it'll mold. It'll take to the shape of the shoe. But yeah, my own. Um, I'll show you all that one. Yep, so these are my Jordan 6s. I'm gonna say my favorite Jordan. I just really like how the shoe looks. For some reason, especially with the little fin on the back, it just make it look real sporty. You know what I'm saying? I just really like how that look. These are the uh, Alternate 91s. At first, I thought they were hair sixes, but they're a little bit different. 
but it's still cool coming like these and hair sixes. I would still grab some hair sixes if the if like the legit hair sixes came out. I would still grab some because I like six, like sixes. Really, are my favorite. Or I'm gonna say my favorite Jordan. I wanted the golden moments that came out. I wanted the black infrareds. That's the show I kept saying that came out in February of this year that I wanted. Uh, I want the white infrareds. I want the carmines were okay. They were basically just white infrareds kind of to me. Carmines were okay, but sixes are my favorite Jordan. If they're not, I'm, gonna, I'm as of right now, I'm just gonna say they're my favorite Jordan. Cause I'm a, yeah, they're number one for me. Just sixes are number one. And my girlfriend also has a pair of these we matched. I had got her, I had got her some of these for her birthday, and we matched like her birthday weekend. We went to like a car show. We had on these and like some uh, distressed jeans and white tees, and uh, we both had them like a chain. So we was matching. And that was my little birthday gift to her that year. Yeah, these are mine. And these were a birthday gift to me that same year. So, yep, yeah, it's my favorite shoes. Yeah, boy. My favorite shoe right home. All right. So, there you have it. I know this has been a very long video. If you made it to the end, tell me your favorite shoe that you saw that I had, if you even liked any of my shoes. I'm missing... Not missing as I don't know where they are, but I'm, I didn't show you at least like two to three pair because they're out, they're not with me. They're probably in my car. My car got towed to the shop earlier. Like um, my Jordan 10 retros, uh, the stealth, stealth 10s. And then I had another pair of some, I don't know why I got three fingers up. I only said two shoes. And then I, um, I had another pair of some O's that were all gray. They were suede, so suede, darkish gray, and red laces, like maroon, maroon laces. Hit those red and white, uh, Harachi, not Harachis, uh, Roshis are in the car. Do make another video, it'll just be an update to say, okay, these are the shoes I've added. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna go through the whole thing because this was pulling pulling these shoes out and putting them back was some stuff, man. I still gotta put these last few. I when when I showed you the black padded leather force, my phone died. So while my phone was charging, I just start putting everything back. But yeah, this was on my shoes, man. Comment, like, subscribe, tell me what you like, and tell me what your favorite shoe is, tell me what your favorite shoe that you have or what you want to get is. That's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, it's long. It was a really long video. I'm sorry for that. But, uh, catch you later. Bye-bye.